So today at Renovo Real Estate, we're gonna be sharing some of our crazy real estate stories. I'll go first. This one time I was showing a bank owned home and I went to go open up the attic and a dead raccoon carcass fell right on my face. After I battled with the thing for about 10 minutes, I thought that I had rabies for about six months. Sam, what's your crazy real estate story? My crazy real estate story is um, the first time I went to show a house for somebody and um, I got into a car accident. Uh, a wheelbarrow flew out of my guy's truck and hit my car. And I was about 45 minutes late. Oh, man. Justin, what's your crazy real estate story? My crazy real estate story is I'm trying to find my sister a house and she wants it to be haunted or by a cemetery. Oh, man. What's your crazy story? Uh, a while back, my husband and I were looking at a convent slash Catholic school that had been abandoned and we were looking at maybe purchasing it and doing something creative with it. And on the chalkboard was, first of all, my name and not too far from that was my birth date. So I said, see you later. We're out of here. Moogity boogity. <laughs> oh my. What's your crazy real estate story? Well, I love telling stories, but there's many, and the one where I almost killed myself was showing a house that was vacant and not well illuminated, and I was talking to my client over my shoulder and stepped into what I thought was a closet, and it was access to the basement with no light on, and I literally cartwheeled down the stairs while I was trying to talk to my client and ended up in a heap at the bottom and somehow survived without any broken bones, but that just shows the hazards of showing property. True or false, this wasn't the only time that happened. True, because, no, it was the, was not the only time it happened because I also did that into a Victoria basement in Saratoga where I was looking around for a light and stepped into a second sub-basement pit that had an old furnace in it and nearly broke all the roof on the right side. So there are hazards to showing property if you don't have a headlight on, so bring it up next time. Oh man, thanks.